guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is my second video in Faro. I'm here with my dad for two days and we're having a really nice time so far. Today is our second day, our last day. We go home tonight and we're going to head out now to the pastry that's about two minutes away, the pastry shop, and have some coffee and some breakfast and just see what we get up to today. Pastry cafe was closed. It is Saturday today so maybe it's closed on a Saturday. Now we have come into the sort of centre bit by the water to just kind of hopefully find a restaurant or a cafe that's open and it's got space for us. Look at these doors. That's so pretty. I love all the buildings here. And I don't know if you can tell today it is very sunny. So I think it's going to be a scorcher. currently seven minutes to one. Just come back to the same restaurant where we had dinner last night just for a drink and a little sit down in the sun. We've put all the um, umbrellas down though because I, you can probably hear it, it's quite windy right now so I've also had to tie my hair back because it was getting blown in my face. And I've got a peach iced tea and a lovely little lemon cup. And I think we're gonna mooch some more for some presents for people back home. And then maybe there's a sushi restaurant that is quite close to our Airbnb. Might go and have a look there for some late lunch as well because we had our breakfast quite late. It was like 11 p.m. 11 a.m. by the time we had breakfast. It was basically brunch. It was quite big as well. It's quite good. So there's a, like a restaurant opposite the Airbnb where the lady said we can hand the keys into when we leave because our flight isn't until like 8 p.m. So we need to be there for about six. There's like a, a walkway down to the bottom of the apartment stairs of like the front door. So we've left our bags there. So the cleaner can go in and clean the apartment ready for like the next people to check in tonight or tomorrow or whatever But we can keep our bags safe in the little close bit behind the main front door So that's quite good and then we'll just hand our keys into the restaurant opposite tonight I think two days in Faro it seems a perfect amount of time I'd have a lovely time, a bit of sun, a bit of warmth bit of cocktails outside I love eating outside One of my favourite things about Europe is eating outside and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this I look like I've got a comb over It's so windy! No, that's so funny! Where, where's all my hair? I don't have any hair Made it onto the boat Very, very, very snazzy life jacket Never seen a life jacket like this Hair is, we won't talk about the hair, all my photos will have comb overs in them, but this is just a windswept look. This is just island life. I'm not even on an island. I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in We've stopped at the beach for 15 minutes. Very white sand, everything, there's not much on it. There's some birds nesting up there apparently, so there's roads that we can go past. Down there is the Faro Beach, which you can reach by a bridge. So this beach is accessible by car, basically. But then there's one over there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. The really pale one over there is a deserted island that you can only reach by boat, which I thought was pretty cool. So this one you can get to by car, but the one back there, only boat. We're just watching these people doing the, I don't know what it's called, it's like paragliding, but surfing. It's really cool, they go really high in the air. We've stopped 
at our second stop. This is basically the same beach but a bit further down and this one is a lot busier, a lot more touristy. There's like bars and restaurant snack places and tourist shops. I think there's also a beach over the other side. Well we only get 15 minutes to stop so I don't really know what there is to do in 15 minutes really. Maybe head over this way, sit on the sand for 10 minutes, try and get a 10 minute tan. Some anchors. To remind you, you're by the sea. Oh yeah, that looks a wee bit nicer than the one that we just left. Let's sit here for 10 minutes. Trying not to get any sand in my trainers. I'm not sure you can even swim. That looks like the Sri Lanka waves. America's over there. Yeah, we well, where's Morocco? That way. Hi, Morocco. Not a cloud in the sky. We are off from our boat tour and heading back to the apartment now. It was so much fun, I really recommend it. It was 20 euros per person, which I think is a decent price for an hour and a half. The guy had information for us and he was speaking in like Spanish slash Portuguese and English, which was really good. And yeah, just had a great time. We're walking back to the apartment now to pick up our bags and then make our way to a taxi to go to the airport, sadly. Our time in Faro is coming to an end. The last two days have been lovely. I don't know if you can see, the weather is gorgeous. I put my hoodie on just because it was a bit windy on the boat and I was getting a little bit splashed. Absolutely gorgeous. Had a lovely time. I love Europe so much. It's really made me want to come back and see so much more of Portugal. So I think that I'm going to end today's video here. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to see more content from me. And I'll be back next week with a brand new video. Bye guys.